we're in our Model Y. This is our one month update of ownership. It's uh, been driven quite a bit. Let's take a quick look. We've driven it 2,258 miles. I guess it's been a little bit over a month, about a month and a half since we got it. But we have done quite a bit of driving. Have not, there's the odometer, 2,258 miles. And I thought I would give an update on what we like, what we don't like. So, hmm. what would you say, <laughs> let's do, um, what are what would you say are the top three things that you like about your Model Y? Hmm. Um, I like how it drives. It's very comfortable. Um, I like the display. The navigation is pretty awesome. Uh, Well, just one more thing you really like about it. I don't know if anything that's jumping out at me. You like the thing. heated seats? Well, yeah, but that's, I mean, that's pretty common anymore, so it's not really... Do you like that when you get in it, it's already climatized, or that you already have hot air immediately without having to wait? I do like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried the autopilot feature yet? Barely. <laughs> Are you still afraid? Yes. <laughs> I like control too much. <laughs> the, you use the cruise control though. Sometimes, but I mean, most of what I've been dr driving for is just through town, so I don't really use it all that much. Oh, okay. Okay. One thing that does bug me sometimes is that it tends to freak out when there's like, it thinks that I'm, I'm coming up on something too quickly or like I'm getting too close to a line. It's like it it kind of pulls you and sometimes it's because it doesn't see a line there. Even, you know, yeah, so it's the not auto like steer yeah, wants to move you. Wants to move, yeah. And then like there was some cars that started braking and I felt like there was still plenty of space between, but it was like, beep, 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 beep. Like, it, it starts like really like freaking out. <laughs> like you're doing something wrong. You're gonna rear end the car in front of you. Um, or it didn't, like the time when it didn't realize that there was a right hand turn and there was, you know, this, a stoplight. So the car stopped here, but I was making this little car curve to the right and it thought I was gonna run into the cars that were stopped. So it starts, you know. Mm -hmm. Beeping really loud. Have you considered the possibility that maybe you were going to run into the cars in front of you? No, I was not. <laughs> that was not going to happen. <laughs> and I have never in 20 years of driving been in an accident, so you can just take that one right now. <laughs> so what is it about the navigation that you liked? Um, I like the big screen and being able to see... Um, more than what you know I could see on my phone like it, it I can just oh yeah because with your phone it's yeah, tiny it's you have tiny, to look yeah. away from the road mm -hmm. quite a bit yeah that one I could see like okay yeah I still have quite a bit of distance before the turn or that sort of thing so I like the navigation um, I love the backup cameras that's another one ah there you yeah. go yeah those are really nice nice big display for those um, Okay, so let's yeah. go, what are, let's do three things you don't like well, about it. Or that, you would like some... to see better, improved. Well, that's what I was meaning by the, you know, the auto steer thing, where it doesn't, it starts to pull one way or the other. Mm -hmm. um, uh, let's see, what else? Um, there's not a lot I don't like about it. Well, sometimes it gets annoying trying to figure out what to hit, what to click to move something on the screen or get to where I need to go, but that's just a matter of learning it better. Right. Um, and so typically, so it's been a challenge learning 
what the buttons do, where to find certain things. Yeah. How many times have you read the owner's manual? <laughs> <laughs> I watched the tutorial before we bought the car. So there's that. <laughs> So none would none. be the answer. Okay. Definitely okay. not. <laughs> so would you recommend would you recommend other manual? people no, would you recommend bad. other people read the manual if they want to understand how to easily use the car? No, because who the hell has time to read the freaking owner's manual? <laughs> <laughs> so there needs to be happen. a better video? No, I just I just I learn by doing, so I just have to do it more and I'll get there. Do you remember when we took delivery? what the most frustrating thing was that neither of us could figure out. How to turn the car off? No, we didn't. No, it wasn't turning the car off. It was the, uh, it was the climate control. Trying to figure oh, yeah. out this fan, if we could that turn on. That is one thing that does irritate me too, though. Okay, tell me more. Well, it seems like you can't change the temperature for anyone so like it's all one or nothing oh just one side yeah you don't yeah. have separate don't climate have control separate climate. for each right. seats right you can change where it blows but you can't change the temperature so when I'm freezing up here and the kids are hot in the back seat it's kind of a bummer right yeah that was one of the biggest problems was mm -hmm. sometimes our kids would get hot in the back mm -hmm. and we would have to have it turned on at a high speed up front in order for them to get air in the back. We can't just well, turn can. on the back blower at a higher volume. Right. Than the front. Or at a different temperature. Right. Yeah. So that one is, mm -hmm. and then also I would add that when we have it on full blast, it is fairly loud. Yeah, that's true. The, it is fairly loud. Yeah. When we don't have to have it on though, it's great. <clears throat> when we don't have to have it on, it's very quiet in the car. That can be overpowering. Uh, any problems charging? No, none. Any problems having enough uh, charge to go where you need to go? No, but it does seem like if I'm actually out running around for a couple of days and you know, fairly close together, it seems like the miles drop quite a bit more than it seems like it would because I don't feel like I go that, like do that much driving, but yet. <laughs> well, we have 2,500 miles in <laughs> one and a half months. So I think we do do quite a bit of driving, more than you would, Apparently, more than you think. It doesn't seem like that much is going between. Now we've put 2,000, what was it? 2,258 miles. And we have only had the slowest charging mm -hmm. cord mm -hmm. that you can use. And we've managed to make it work, which has been pretty good, surprisingly. It only charges at four miles per hour. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> for the most part, I think I, I've been pleasantly surprised that I haven't had to rush to put in a faster charger. But I think if we put in a faster charger, it would certainly be a lot easier to know that you have enough miles every single day without. Yeah, I mean, I haven't been going out a ton over the last few weeks, so it hasn't really been a problem. But I feel like if it was during like the summer when I'm super busy for work and I'm running, then I would have more of an issue. Yeah. Because I mean, I, I can sometimes spend, have two days where it's just basically sitting here charging rather than right. using up the charge. Mm -hmm. um, but that would be a big difference. Okay. Yeah. So on uh, scale of one to ten, what would you give your Model Y? Mm -hmm. Boy. Mm -hmm. Probably a nine. Okay. That's pretty solid. How does that I'm rate in happy. comparison to the rest of the cars you've owned? Feel like the rest of the cars I've owned have ever I've ever really cared enough to even rate it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean we're talking minivan and um gosh, 
songs before Sedans. That. Yeah, I mean, just nothing. Everything we've had has always been very ba basic and not really a fun car like this is. Yeah. I like the attention this gets. <laughs> Maybe a little. So this is, <laughs> that, that does stand out. It is a fun car, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. The driving experience is miles ahead mm -hmm. of anything you've ever yeah. driven. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that is our one month update. I haven't driven it a whole lot in the first month, so that's why she gave us the mm -hmm. update. Mm -hmm. I would say for me, the top things that I've liked about it, I like the heated seats. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have the heater blowing all the time, which does help to save on the electricity in the car. So you get more miles out of it if you don't, if you don't have that turned on. I like the seats are very comfortable and the acceleration is amazing. We don't even have the performance version and we went on a long trip and being able to pass anybody in an instant mm -hmm. is something that we're not exactly used to. Right. So that was very nice, very nice. And for me, my favorite feature though is the autopilot. So keep an eye out, I'm gonna put a video out uh, next with the autopilot I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a small trip. This is not the full self-driving either, and I'm really happy with it. So I can't wait for the full self-driving. But the autopilot feature, to me, is a game changer. Well worth, well worth it, even without the full self-driving. So, we will catch you next time. Mm -hmm. There's Kristen. Yes. I'm James. We'll see you later. <laughs>